Australia's top diplomat has offered a stinging assessment of China during her last week in the role, saying it's dogged by insecurity. Frances Adamson also labelled Beijing's decision to release a list of complaints about Australia's conduct a massive own goal. Here's foreign affairs reporter Stephen Jedgetts. China's power is growing, but so too its list of critics. Outside Parliament, protesters called for a boycott of the Beijing Winter Olympics. Nearby, Australia's most senior diplomat offered an unsparing critique. Insecurity and power can be a volatile combination. Frances Adamson has led the Foreign Affairs Department as the relationship nosedives with Beijing, launching several trade strikes. The Chinese embassy even unveiling a list of 14 demands to Australia. It was a massive own goal by China. But China's increasing assertiveness might have unintended consequences. It means, among other things, that China is undergoing a steep loss of influence in Australia and many other countries. And there's new evidence to back that view in a poll conducted by think tank the Lowy Institute. In 2018, 82% of those surveyed said they saw China primarily as an economic partner. This year, just 34% of Australians saw China that way. In contrast, three years ago, only 12% of Australians saw China as a security threat. That figure has now soared to 63%. Allegations of foreign interference, the crackdown in Hong Kong, the detention of Uyghurs in Xinjiang, the disappearance of Australian writers in China, the list just went on and on. The Secretary's parting assessment of China wasn't deliberately inflammatory, simply a blunt assessment of how top officials see the emerging superpower. Deciding how to respond if Beijing stays on the same trajectory will present some difficult choices, not just to Francis Adamson's successor, but also those who follow. Stephen Jedgetts, ABC News, Canberra.